Hello and welcome everybody to a new series. My name is Jay and today I'm going to be doing something a little different than what I'm used to. Today we will be doing art on this channel. Yeah, I know usually I just look at art, but today I'll actually be creating it. And we are doing a face-off art challenge of sorts. Uh, today I have with me Mega Rabbit. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Mega Rabbit. Excellent. So, uh, we are both trained in the arts, however, I went into computerized arts, and she stayed in traditional mediums. So, we will be giving each other a character to draw, giving some brief uh, descriptions of the character, and hopefully we will be able to recreate the character 100% accurately. So, the character I have chosen for Mega Rabbit to draw is Cable from the X-Men comics. And now, just a brief description of Cable. Cable was made in the 90s, so he was made in a time where muscles were very large, like almost grotesquely large, and he is like a mercenary kind of guy from the future. So he wears like a jumpsuit and he has one metal arm and one of his eyes is glowing. So that's the brief description that I will give you of Cable. All right, uh, so who am I drawing? I chose Bianca from Clinic of Horror. She is, she's really cute. Um, she's very pastel, but if you know like those monotone characters where they have like zero expressions and stuff, like that's what she kind of looks like, but she is very pastel. She has pink hair. She has like all the nurse outfit, like, so cute, pastel, monotone, pink hair nurse. Does she have glasses? She does not. Damn, I thought she was gonna be a glasses character. Anyways, so to start things off, we are going to put a 20 minute timer on the clock just so this doesn't go forever. And uh, we'll see what we can do in these 20 minutes with these things. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. So, I don't even know where to start with her. I guess the head would be a good place. Are we drawing full bodies? Uh, you can draw however much you want of, of this character. That is completely up to you. I can't, I can't draw a circle. I, can't, I just can't do it. That seems like a personal I, problem. I just want to draw the base for the head and I can't get it. It's too oblong. Muck goals. Muscles. How do you okay, draw that? Finally, I got a head. I guess we're gonna go for cutesy. So he has one mechanical arm? Yeah, he has one robot arm. The other is just totally normal. He has a lot of guns too, like a futuristic guns. I don't know if that helps, but... That does not. And like, what type of nurse outfit are we talking here? Like, It's like a mixture between maid outfit and also a nurse. Maid and nurse, okay. It's a pink outfit, if I remember correctly. Um, I, what, what kind of hair does she have? Like bob or like long? She has long hair. She has long pink hair. She has like a braid, like half up, half down kind of do where like the braid goes back into her hair, kind of. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. For she me, has so. blue yeah. eyes too, with okay. pink pupils. Does he have big bar titties? He has a lot of stuff going on. Like any kind of muscle thing that you can think of, he probably has going. I don't know how to draw a nurse's hat. This looks like a Russian hat. Does he have brown hair? Uh, he has white hair. He's old. Uh, robot arms. I don't know how to do that. I mean, if, if it makes any more sense, and I know it's not going to, it's technically techno-organic. So it's his real arm, it's just been turned into a robot arm. That does not help. Yeah, I, I didn't think so. Alright, we're at the 15 minute mark. Yeah, I mean, I haven't even started on anything. This is this is really bad. And what kind of haircut does he have? Uh, crew cut. What? You know, like crew cut, short hair. A little bit of scruff. Mm, military? I guess, he's a soldier, so... Do you have big boobs? She does not. God damn it. I think that's what he looks like. Okay. How old is he? Um, 
I don't remember his exact age, but he is very old. Okay, I made him into like a 25 year old. <laughs> oh no, he's like 50, 60 plus. Oh at, great. At least. I'm not gonna give her a smile, she's gonna be like deadpan. Yeah, that's what she is. She doesn't smile. I don't think I've ever seen her smile actually. Excellent. I'm giving him a smirk. Oh, he's very serious. Oh, never mind. You know what? This is gonna be a younger version of him. He does have a younger version. I killed his older version. What? Yeah, it's time travel stuff. You know what? I'm gonna start over. <laughs> start over with 12 minutes left? He looks so bad! <laughs> so does she, oh my god. Granted, you have a lot to prove, I don't. This is gonna be like a very simplified version. I'm not gonna even do the line arts or anything. I'm sure it'll be much better than mine. Nope. Yeah. <gasps> I'm looking at mine. You are not. Alright. Let's draw the hat. I'm trying to think of Nurse Joy's hat. But it's not coming to me. That That's hat-like. I, I, I have no idea what to do with her maid outfit. I'm not gonna lie. Um, make it pink. And then she does wear an apron though, so. You gave me like the worst character to draw. I don't know how to draw like buff and that kind of hairstyle either. Yeah, you gave me an anime girl. I only draw dudes. She's not an anime girl. Not... Is she from an anime? She's not, actually. What She's from, from a webtoon. <laughs> Technicalities. All right, and let's go and give her a little bit of cleavage here. She doesn't have boobs. Uh, just like an indent to signify that she is in fact boobed. Boobed. She does in fact have the boobs. I'm gonna make him look really Asian. I mean, he is the whitest character you can get, but yeah, go ahead. I'll try to make him whiter, but... He's literally the kid of Cyclops and Jean Grey. No idea who they are. Cyclops is the leader. They're both extremely white. That's That, that was the point. Alright. Um, he has glowing eyes. He has one glowing eye. So we'll make it yellow. It, yeah, I mean, that's the color it glows. I'm thinking her her hair color is kind of like Kageyasama's uh, Chika. Fujiwara. Very similar, actually. Like a light pink? Mm, not light pink, like but pastel. Pink. Yeah, that, oh yeah, okay, that's, that's, that's something. What is this color? It's mainly blue, and then he has accents of yellow. Kind of blue. <laughs> what kind of blue? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, like, maybe a light navy? Oh, sh Give him, like, a dark blue. Yeah, I mean, that's not far away, but it's also not close. I mean, it's not, like, dark, dark blue, it's more, like, royal blue. Yeah. Not exactly. Then he wears a jump. It, it's like a, it's like a one- there's no pants or shirt divide. Um, this is the best I can do, I think. Oh my god, she is terrifying. I can't make these eyes I'm look so good. I'm so scared to see yours. It, I mean, you will- it's cursed. Hands, how do I draw that? Hands or pants? Hands. Oh, yeah, no help for me there. You know what, this is what I think it'll look like, so let's just go with that. What, what color is her skin? A human? She's literally just a human. Okay, I said color of the skin, like Caucasian. Oh, oh, I, I thought you were like asking if she was like an alien color. <laughs> no. I was thinking like blue, pink, green, no. Uh, pale? Yeah, she's pretty pale actually. But not like deathly kind of pale, it's like. I'm just gonna make her real pale and we'll just go for it. This arm proportion though, let's go. <laughs> This is just... I swear, this is my major. This is what I do. I'm supposed to be good at this. I know anatomy. I feel like this is just somebody's, like, fan art of her, but, like, not good fan art. Oh, that's why it looked weird. I feel like that's what it's gonna end up looking like, is just, like, just a really awkward fan art. I accidentally inverted his, um, hand, so he had a right hand on his left side. 
So I was like, that looks so weird, but I just can't pinpoint. I'm like, wait. I'm not even drawing hands. I, I like, I'm literally just drawing like slightly upper body and that's it. So are her, is her apron and mane like maid color different? Her apron is white. Okay. I was definitely gonna color it in, so that's good to know, but her like underneath is pink. This is about as good as it's gonna get, and it's terrifying to me that this is as good as it gets. Because it is just awful. I don't even think time could save this one. Like sometimes you're like, oh, if I had more time, like I could do better. No, this is this is a lost cause. <laughs> this is this is the best I can do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mother. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, I'm sorry to whoever actually likes this character and that I have now butchered because I have certainly butchered her. I definitely recommend this series to anyone who doesn't know about it. I've never heard of it, so. It's like, it started out really cute and it's like, it's not cute, but it's like, you know, horror kind of cute. Like that's the best way I can describe it. And it didn't really like had a lore or anything. It was just more like, hey, here are some fun adventures that we kind of have or like some weird shenanigans that we, get ourselves into but then now they like actually added a lore to it so it's like wow yeah i mean marvel comics is obviously a big huge property so i'm sure everybody knows of marvel as or has heard of cable in some fashion but cable is i think a really cool character um the time travel shenanigans can get a little weird at times but he is generally pretty cool and pretty fun so, uh, if, and he's from the X-Men, obviously. If you are more of an anime person, you aren't really familiar with American comics, uh, Cable appears in the X-Men comics and Deadpool a lot. He was in the Deadpool movie, in fact. He doesn't look like how he does in the oh, comics. I know who you're talking about now. Yeah, but I told you pretty late, but he doesn't look anything like he does in the comics in the movie. So even if you did remember, it wouldn't have changed much. Oh, and that's the timer. So... Set down your pen, and we're gonna go over to each other's screens and look at this. So I'm gonna look at yours first because you are the artist. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and take a look. Wow, okay, you drew him as like a 20 year old with a robot hand. I'm gonna pull up a picture of Cable right now. It's not fair. It's so not this, fair. So this is what he actually looks like. I remember what he looks like now. This, no. <laughs> Okay, so like, you see what I'm saying? The jumpsuit, Yeah. the the big muscles, the robotic arm. I remember, I remember what he looked like at like literally the last second and the timer went off. I'm like, oh, great. Okay, but like, I gave a pretty good description, I think. I think you did. Um, now that I look at it, uh, I definitely gave him boobs. <laughs> yeah, you, you drew him like, like this, uh, Captain America, Rob Liefeld. You drew him like this, Captain America. He is beautiful. With with somehow facing you tits wall at the tits. side. I don't know how that's physically possible, but that's 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 what it reminds me of. Okay, I, this is mine. Obviously, you've seen it. Yeah, um, no, she. Well, actually, you know what? It kind of does look like her. I'll pull a picture up real quick. I'm just not good at drawing. If I was better at drawing, I think I could have made made this work. Because you said, um, Chica, and I was like, yeah, that's exactly what she, you know, her hair kind of looks like. Oh, I meant, like, in color, not in... Oh, I thought you meant, like, as in her no, hairstyle, no, no, no. so I was like, oh, yeah, it kind of does look like hers, like, in a similarity, you know? But, I, honestly, I, I do like your version of Cable. Can you pull him back what up? What are those boobs? <laughs> they're, they're bo <laughs> what do you mean she has no boobs? She clearly has a an indent for those boobs okay now that i like looked at the I, picture I did a similar thing i just gave her a little bit of love on the edges i feel like this is like a girl version of him i definitely like if there was a female version of cable that's what she would look like oh yes let me give I her feel some like if you real quick. buffed him up a little bit and like made him a little bit more manly it would look really accurate and i think somebody would recognize that as cable Maybe. I think I think people would recognize that as Cable. I don't think anybody would recognize this as the girl. Like, 
what you said, a, uh, a fan art of her, probably, possibly. A fan art of a person who's actually never even seen the show and is just guessing on what she looks like. That's what this is. That's it for us this time. Just one drawing for you guys. It's a new format, so I just kind of wanted to test the waters. We are definitely still trying to figure out kind of how this series is going to work. Are we going to keep on doing guess the characters? Are we going to actually give each other characters we know and see how well we can recreate them from memory? I'm not really sure. We're just going to keep drawing and having fun. That's what I know. If you have any suggestions for what you think we should do or what we can do, please leave it down in the comment section below. And with that being said, thank you all for joining us. My name has been Jay, and I will hopefully see you next time. Well, I've been Mega Rabbit, and it was lovely to have been here. Goodbye, everyone. Maybe next time we'll draw better versions of these people.